So, how do we switch between quads such that we're able to transit easily? We keep a four second gap between each chord and we keep reducing the time till to two seconds and then at some point your fingers and your muscles remember exactly where your fingers need to be for each chord and then there's no need of any gap time required. What do I mean by gap time? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We reduce it to two seconds. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Let's try from the G to the E chord. Okay, so we start on our G chord. Ready? One, two, three, four. One. within four seconds, you can increase the time to eight seconds, 12 seconds, 16 seconds, whatever is a comfortable amount of time. But try to count the gap time so that you can systematically improve your timing. We do the same with the D minor. Let's go from the A minor to D minor. that you come up to a point where there is no gap in time, meaning you can switch between chords without any gap time. Mm -hmm. 